Right, while that's all drying and that, I thought I would get on with some, like, the envelopes. Because this one is, you know, I must have cut that off at some point. I don't know why. Or it fell off. <laughs> I have no idea, but I thought I'd use this. Okay, because so we've got some red going on there. So I'm going to use some Distress Black Soot. So I'm just going to go around. I might use a bit of silver as well. Also, quite the oxide isn't quite so black, it's more grey. I notice, unless it changes when I add a bit of water, so I will add a bit of water to that. So, let's see what happens. I quite, I love this that's going on. I might actually, um, Put some paper in the inside of that one. Okay, I'm going to go right over this. I think I can't really stamp on this one because it's been embossed all the way over. Let's have a look, see what happens. I'm just wondering if it goes darker or something with water, but to me, it's um, looks a bit grey. some of that over. That's definitely grey, isn't it? Um, let's see if I've got a fine spray. I don't want too much. Let's have a look. Yeah, got some in there. anything but what I will do is I will go over the edges with some black I think and keep the grey in there because the grey is nice and now I've put the grey on that doesn't that looks red whereas when it was on its own it looked a bit pink and I'm going to put a bit of a like a snippet or something you know on here and maybe a little picture or something I'll see um, I need our cobalt actually. So. Right, I'm gonna <laughs> be brave <laughs> and put a little bit of that over as well. I'm liking that. Yeah. I'm not worried about the inside because I'm, I'm going to line that. That's looking quite good. dry that off because I think that looks better definitely right it's just little snippets of feather a bit of that silver fabric that I showed you earlier some threads and a bit of that net and um, I think looks good there I um, mean want something scary or a little, little card or something. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Um, 
I like that, but it's a little bit too big. One there. I like that. That will do nicely. Lovely. It's quite good fun actually making all the ephemera to go in it. <laughs> oh, it's about a centimetre up. Line the inside of this one or something. Very dark, isn't it? <laughs> got some of this. I think that will go. And we've got a bit there. We only need that amount, I think. This is what I do. I just usually don't need to go all the way down. So I will fold that over. Just inside. Just inside there. quick with that glue unless it sticks on the way down okay it's got a little bit of overhang there I didn't see that don't like that paper We just need the journaling card in there, but I'm liking that. So that will be in somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the inside. I'm just sort of wondering whether to, um, you know, put a little flip on over the page and do this. I'm not sure. Then we'll have a secret pocket there. Now, a floating pocket's fine. Yeah, that would look quite nice because you'd have that hanging on the outside, and that looks quite good from that way yep so I'm going to leave that in there for now nice skeleton um, card in the inside there I think so if I've got one handy I don't think I've cut them all out so there's some here there we go This one here, I might actually, <laughs> actually fancy putting a red rose on there. I'm just wondering whether I can cut this out of here. It'd be dinky, but
yeah <laughs> that's the sort of thing you gotta do because it's i'm thinking gothic glam so you know i use this in my halloween journal so i'm trying to go bring a little bit of prettiness into it sort of <laughs> Got to go there. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stitch that onto that one, and then we'll have something hanging down as well. Goes there. Okay. I'm just gonna take that to that line. Make sure that looks straight. Cut those straight. That's <laughs> okay. I could have that on the, that side there, but I actually quite fancy having it shorter. And then there's going to be a bit of lace on here. I quite like the look of that. And that's going to go like so. And then that's just going to be a bit tuck spot. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So I'll just go and stitch around that. And stitch that on. I'll see you in a minute. There we go. I think that looks quite nice. Um, I'm gonna use a bit. That's this buffet on this envelope. I just thought. Oh, I saw that when I was looking for something else. And I haven't used this one yet. Of course, I've been using that one quite a lot, the gilding polish. And I haven't used this buffet yet, so I'm gonna give it a go. I'll try on the back first and say I haven't used it before. So. Usually I do it with my finger, but I have no idea. That's what it um, can be applied to almost any dry absorbent surface. Cardboard, wood. Do you use load a small quantity onto a dry sponge or soft cloth and polish with gentle buffing action until the object has a glossy finish? Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Right. Okay, sponge time then. One of these makeup sponges. I like to try and keep these on if I can. Hold on. similar consistency like the other one okay well I'm going to take a bit of that off if that was like, it's a bit much okay well, I'm gonna try my finger looking quite nice yeah just gives it a bit of oomph brightens it up a bit it blended in really well didn't it that I think when I use my finger I can jerk because I can actually feel the emboss bit so I tend to get the, the, the pressure right all that okay I don't know whether you can it you can see that or not I'm not sure oh yes Right, and then I'm going to buff that up a little bit. Could do with a 
dry wet wipe. <laughs> oh, it's, it's got a no, little damp. Soft cloths, aren't they? lovely actually. I think it used to come in little tubes years ago like that. I'm sure of that. You used to use it on metal and then buff it up. Seeing how much comes off. Oh, quite unusual. Yeah. Just gives it a bit of sparkle. Well, not sparkle, but you know what I mean. I think it gives it, it stops it looking sort of dull. And we've got that little sparkly bit of silver in there, you see? So, yeah, like that. Oh, it's windy again today. Yes, the sea's quite large, I think. Oh, I've got one of these. I might, have, I might keep that there for now. Let me see. I'm not sure. But I just like to put something there. Okay, right. Could do with some more. Let's have a look. More lace. Definitely, we've got to do this up, haven't we? Oh, I thought I would do the pocket on this one and from the top, and then we've got a window there, and then this turned into a, a little pocket here as well. So I'm going to do that next, I think. Oops. I'm just going to put that there. Just reminds me it goes there. Yeah, so I'm going to do that one next. Yeah. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> we shall see. Because <laughs> there's no colour on it or anything on that one, is there? The other one's drying. Oh, no, because it hasn't got the same pocket here. Oh, it's still a little bit damp, actually. And this one's, I need a repair job on this one. That's all right. Nice colour though. Right. Okay, let's get on with this little tuck spot then. I'm just going to back that with a bit of paper. And put that behind there, that's all. So, uh, let's just ink up that edge. Don't see any of the other, so I'm not worried about that. Maybe better with wet glue this one but doesn't matter actually because that is going to go down there anyway it's going to cover that so that's fine just in case it sticks because that's going to be a pocket so I'm actually going to stitch around that in a minute. Okay, right, let's play with a bit of ink, shall we? Ooh, scary. Festive berries. That's I'm going to <clears throat> yeah, go for it. So I'm going to over stamp it.
So I've got gesso on so I can move it around a bit. So that's fine. It. Just give it a dry, make sure <clears throat> don't go anywhere near uh, that because <laughs> it will melt. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've got this big stamp. And I think it's Hero Arts. Oh, no, R Rubber Stampede. Whether they're still going, I don't know. But again, this was, I bought this a long time ago. So, and I thought that would look nice on there. On this side here. A bit of pressure on this one. <clears throat> okay, mm, not brilliant. That's going to be a bucket there. That's okay. No, oh, that way. No, sorry. I was thinking that's going to go there, that's going to go there, that's the back side. So, yeah, not brilliant. Right, Versa fine, I think. But anyway, we shall have a little look. If I can find it. Yeah. And that was a lot of pressure on there, so... bit of foam underneath the card no oh, that's okay that's not too bad no that's quite good actually I like that okay so that one I'm gonna have to cover because I didn't like it let's see if we can stamp isn't it Oops, sorry if I knocked it then Just trying to place it there all right let's make sure we get better wasn't it versifying was definitely better yeah and that's okay because that goes that's going to go you know like that so and then what i'll do on that one i'll cover that most probably with something else 
and then down here we will have a you know something some nice coming down so that is fine I didn't have any left on that I'll just see if I can make it a bit dirtier there you go fine 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 we shall work with it I need to stitch around there if I glue that in and we've got to do a nice card and I'll, what I'll do is I'll um, do down here and cover that okay. just going to stitch around that and I'll be back okay that's all stitched around and it's looking okay um the other side i thought i would yeah because that's once that's sewn in you see then we're going to have a tuck spot aren't we um i'll just do a little bit of stamping with tim holtz one few words here and there not too not too much because i don't want everything you know like red at the moment it looked like everything is going to be red because um the amount i've done but that's because it's the, it's there you know i've got it if i need it which don't get me wrong I won't be needing half of it but then I put it in my stash and um, use it at a later date sorry there's a bit of ink that wasn't picking up on there for some reason like I say it's just going to be random so I'll keep it on the plastic I'm just doing things like that I'm going to see that, I don't think. There, that's all we need. And I'm not putting um, anything in the pockets and I'm not doing that yet because I haven't, I need to design some things to go there. So that will be coming up because I um, only had the papers with this journal I um, now that's why I wanted to make it so I could get a feel for everything and then you know go off and make stuff for it as well as design stuff from scratch which I think is great right where did that go was that here wasn't it here yeah. hopefully that will blend in nicely yep yeah. that's good Oh, and I'm gonna do that. So, but I'm gonna leave that in there, and then let's have a look. A bit of net, and look. That's right. A bit of that as well, I think. I mean, um, when I do things like this, I will say that if I find it looks better somewhere else, I will move it, you know, because at the moment it's quite samey to that there. So it might even look better if it's somewhere else that's quite plain, like there, for instance. And that, that actually is better. So, to be honest, looking at it. Because I just felt it was lost here. So I need something here, but I put that there for now. But that might not stay there. But yep, yeah, that's good. And that's the inside of that one. Just hardly got anything in here. I did start on this one. It's more purpley, isn't it? We've got a bit of purple around. That's all right.
Then we need somewhere to... I think I'm going to put him there, but I'm going to stitch all around there. And I'm going to stitch around the pocket as well. Yeah, it's going to be a tuck spot and around that edge there. So what I'm going to do is stitch around there and there, okay, and then I'm going to place it in there, okay, and stitch all the way around that piece of paper, all right, just to give that a little bit of something going on, just leave that like that, okay, I'll go and do that, there we go, and put that there, and I'm going to have some Mm, I have black lace or shall I wait for the red to come out? Actually, I'm going to wait because, you know, the red's drying, isn't it? I've got this lovely red, haven't I? But that's not in this here. Right, got to do these, haven't we? So we're going to do a centre centre one that I've done before. And then find some images. I don't know what that is, am I? No idea. A bit of tea. <laughs> okay. Actually, I've got one. That's... No, I'll keep that one for another place. I'll do these together and then they'll be the same. Okay, so I'm going to do one of my little flippy things that I do in the centre there. Trim a bit off that. Need so much. Okay, that was all right. I think I can take that one right off. That. Um, and you can put if you're worried about um, that wearing thin you can put a little bit tiny bit of thin fabric there like I've done that before just down the spine there and that will keep that you know pretty good right so which way are we going to should we do it from the top or the side so it's going to go actually into the signature that way be honest. Yeah, it is. I'm just going to make sure. That's all right. Because it's in the middle, so you can see those in the middle, don't we? Like that, and top loading, or should we have it out the side for a change? I think the side. For a change, so put those together. Okay, yeah. Add a bit of colour, right? What should we do? What should we do? I just want mm, a little bit of red, but not very much. Um, I might stamp actually with something instead. Let's have a look like a 
background stamp, something like that, just to give a bit of colour. I've got these circly things. Let's have a bit. Okay, I don't mind if it goes on the other side, a bit of red and that. I do like happy accidents. Sometimes it, they turn out really great. And time I overstamp that. A bit of text. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so I think I'll do my pockets um, here, all right, because I, I like this net and I've got, I'm going to try and use sort of like one pocket in each of the signatures. So I've just cut a smaller piece. I'm going to try and centralise that spider. Um, the tuck spots are going to go in here. So that means I can stitch, you know, around, well, not that way. So I'm going to leave that free, but I can stitch around here. But I am going to glue that down and cut it off after. So I'm just going to glue along there. Yeah. Things like this, I tend to stretch it. And what I do on here is I always put a bit of lace to it to make, you know, make this bit stronger here. Yeah. And then I'll, what I'll do, I glue the lace on, but I put a bit of acetate underneath so it sticks to the acetate a bit, but it seems to secure the lace as well, which is great. Just got to be careful here, and then cut into that, so I'm not looking. There we go, because that's going to be up there. Okay, with the pocket in here to there. And we're also going to have, you know, like a little pocket here as well. All right, but I'm going to stitch that on first. Well, you don't need to, it would stay with that glue, but I'm going to stitch mine. <laughs> Okay, that's all stitched around, so that's nice on there. Right, okay, uh, acetate. I can never find it. So I put it in, hopefully it's will fit. If not, I have to cut it down a bit. So I shove that in there like that. Okay. And I do that, okay, and I leave that as it is, and that will dry. Then you take the acetate out, 
we've got a nice edge and that bit of net. Sometimes after you take the acetate out, you just need to just glue down those two bits there a little bit better. Okay. Actually, while the acetate, I've just flipped it over, while the acetate's drying, well, not acetate drying, the lace is drying, I can do the inside of this. So I'm going to use VersaFine and do a bit of stamping. So I've got to be a bit careful. And hopefully, actually, what I might do is take that off of that. Because it's versa fine, I can get that off of there. Okay. Do that with um, oh the permanent the archival one. Then this you won't be able to get it off. It will stay. Okay, let's move quickly just in case. And black soot wherever you are. Too stained so much that one is it inside? That's all right. A bit of lace down that middle. I don't want anything too thick because it's down the sign down the spine of the signature, and you'll find it'll get lumpy. So I want my fine one. Wherever it is, it's seeing if I can run it. So acetate is really heavy, actually. <laughs> right, so I think that'll be it for today. So I've got to pack my stuff up, ready to take to my sister's tomorrow. So I will carry on a bit with this journal, just to get it going, because once I've done this, I want to get on with Christmas, really. It doesn't look like I've got time to do a winter kit, but then I've done loads last year, didn't I? I've done, I done the actual... Um, I've done a couple of the bag journals, and I've done a tin... Yeah, so I've done quite a lot with the the winter's tail kit last year, so right, I'll go see if oh sorry, see, I'll get tired. <laughs> oh, it's four o'clock, that's why. Time to get tea. What I might do is not me in that it's just <laughs> spray spray a bit of tea stain in there because it's like it's a, that inside didn't take. And yet that one did. So so you've actually got a pocket here to put a picture in and you've also got a pocket there if you want to put some spiders in or, <laughs> or anything. <laughs> right. But I think that can look quite nice in the middle. Okay, like I say, I haven't done any of the, the things yet. I'm going to design them tonight to go in there out of some of the pictures because we've got this one here which might lend itself to being in here. I shall have a little look, see what I've got hanging around and do something. Okay, right then, can't do anything tomorrow because like I'm over Janet's, but hopefully I'll get a bit more done on the journal and then I can show you. 
so but yeah it's starting to feel nice and my signatures one two three four five five signatures so it's gonna be quite a big journal actually yeah it is <laughs> mine normally are though aren't they okay right speak to you soon and um thank you very much for watching everybody bye bye